Hey everyone, so today's video I'm going to be showing you my Rift of Chaos 3 team. Uh, finally unlocked this, and uh, you know, big shout out to Machine. He put out a video about a week ago talking about stage 3 with no LDs, and it showed Kaysen, which is down here, kind of cut off. Uh, I think most of you know how much I hate this hero, but the fact that he's useful now is awesome. So, <laughs> um, shout out to Machine. Uh, my teams are a little different than his, uh, which is why I'm showing this here today. Uh, so anyway, shout out to him. So getting into the teams here. So uh, I'm using Flaming Myla and Mauricio. Uh, these two are just awesome. They clear Rift of Chaos 3 in about six rounds, seven rounds. So that's kind of nice. Um, and then I'm just using Flarence, Gavin, and Zitlin for additional damage. Um, if you're using Mauricio, you don't have to build resistance on your tankiest hero, which is really nice. And the health thresholds are just way less. Um, he's only at like 30,000 health or something like that, I think. And the run is extremely smooth. Uh, Myla is fully booked, and I'll show all the stats and stuff at the end, as always. Um, but yeah, so... That's that team. So this team, you know, a lot of people use for Rift of Chaos 1 and 2, but it actually does scale to 3. Uh, you just need these two spells. Now, this Shield of Mercy spell, uh, if you put it on Santis, like if when you're running on, on auto, it goes on Santis, that's good. But even if it doesn't, uh, the Revive spell is really nice here because Santis is the only one who dies on that first big nuke if she doesn't get the shield. Um, so... Uh, you have the revive spell in there for her to alt and stack the poisons, but uh, that's all you need is two ults from Santis, and she can die anyway. So the revive spell and the shield spell allow this team to scale all the way up to ROC3. And then my fire team is definitely the most difficult. Uh, I don't... Uh... <laughs> It, it's it's tough to say. I only ran this once or twice and it worked both times. So I don't know how many times Residence needs to proc. But I have Badmar and Atara in Resonance. Um, I, I don't know if you can have Poros in Resonance or not. It might trigger too many attacks. But uh, these two have definitely helped uh, being in Resonance. So uh, we'll do this run. I'll see if you know it fails this time or not. Uh, the reason I'm running the Rage spell here is because I just don't want any other spell in there. Um, so you can just run the Heal spell if you want, but the Rage spell didn't really seem to matter to me. But uh, yeah, that's that. So just uh, we'll run through this, and uh, yeah, I'll show you how the runs go. So I was pretty excited to unlock this. Finally, uh, finally unlockable. And uh, it made use of my Kaysen, so... <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty exciting. So here, you know, we just have so much damage reduction from the attack down and damage down too uh, from our uh, Mauricio and then our Flaming Myla. And with Flaming Myla being booked, we don't need to worry about the Mauricio being booked uh, to remove the bombs because you, ki you kill this boss before he gets to put up uh, the second round of bombs. So all of this is all normal. Uh, Mauricio brings the counterattack, which is fantastic as y'all know um, this boss has zero defense whenever he uses his attacks so if you have a counter attack um, you are actually ignoring 100% defense whenever you do that so that's why Mauricio is really good and then Flaming Myla has two sets of counter attack which allow her to uh, scale up her defense pierce really well and it also allows her to counter attack whenever a single target is attacked but this is where Mauricio comes in and is better than Bran is because he doesn't need any resistance um, and he just eats up that uh, he eats up that huge nuke like it didn't even break the shield so uh, this this team is like extremely easy to build uh, flaming Myla probably doesn't even need to be booked if you have somebody like light Ophelia in this slot gavin is just there to speed it up for me um but i think you can basically fit anybody else in here if your flaming myla is booked i think you'll be able to do enough damage still uh maybe if you want to bring in like a radiant pixie or something like that or horse face if you pulled horse face um he's even better i, sh I showed him on a showcase 
uh, in the Earth Titan not too long ago. So he's another great option. But I, I have since deconstructed my horse face. He's not even built. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so this is that first round of bombs. Mauricio is just putting up those huge shields, keeping our Zitlin and Florence healthy, along with the Gavin. The Mila barely takes any damage because she puts up the stacks of block, which pair up nicely with the damage down too. And uh, so here, like I said, those the first round of bombs are gone, so he he times well with those. Um, if you don't do enough damage, you have to end up booking his S3, similar to Jocasta, which is what uh, Machine was running on his. But this is nice to not have to book out a Jocasta if you don't want to, because uh, if you have these heroes and the Ackerly, as I showed, you don't need Jocasta in any of your Rift of Chaos teams. So um, here, you know, the second set of bombs are up but um, we are going to kill him next turn. So it's not even going to matter. So we'll finish up this run, and then uh, we'll move on to Rift of Chaos Water. And hopefully we don't put the Shield of Mercy up on Santis, so I can show you that even if you don't shield the Santis, um, that team will still work. Okay, so uh, moment of truth here on where they put Shield of Mercy. Okay, put it on the Gangello. So that's good. So you'll see here that uh, even though Shield of Mercy didn't land on Santis, Santis will die. Um, but she's going to be able to use her alt the second time because she's the only one that's going to die. So the revive spell will be in there to uh, revive her up. And she'll use her alt again and just stack a bunch of poisons. And then the rest of the team is actually going to carry us to victory. So here the Santis dies, but everyone else survives. Uh, barely, even with the Aaron there. So uh, we go in, we heal up the Aaron, revive the Santis. And then... Uh, you just keep building up those stacks. Use the ultimate from the Santis. She dies again, but she's already done her job. So now um, we're just going to continue melting this boss away with... And you'll see that we can, uh, we can clear this level here. So he's down to two, so we just need to survive this one last nuke. And because we have the Shield of Mercy on the Gangello... Um, we're going to survive. Uh, also, if it was on Aaron or Foodie or Ackerly, it still would have worked. I'm sorry I had to cut out a part of that video. I got some work emails. I don't want you guys to see that. Um, but you didn't miss anything. So here, there you go. That's all you need. So like I said, it scales up to ROC3. I don't, I don't know why that uh, was something that people didn't think was possible. Okay, so here, uh, the turn order, I think, as long as the Atara goes um, after the Poros and the Bad Mart. It doesn't seem to matter. This is where Kaysen actually really comes in. It's it's kind of awesome. Um, he does more damage than Bocce, which is surprising, but uh, he does. He gets two, two sets of attacks every turn. Basically, whenever the boss counterattacks, he, uh, he gets a second big swipe. And you see that he's actually doing some really nice damage, 561. Um, so, you know, the thing about Bocce is his first attack is pretty strong. Uh, sorry, his first attack is pretty weak, and his roller bomb is very strong. But Kaysen actually has two really strong hits. He's hitting anywhere around, you know, uh, 500 to 800,000. Um, so it's pretty good stuff. So now here, as you're seeing, this resonance set is really important because every time, every time they pull in Kaysen, he's he's doing that big damage where if it was Bocce, he wouldn't be doing as much because he gets most of his benefit from the roller bomb. So uh, again, I, I don't, I don't know. I would assume Poros can also be on resonance set to make it even more consistent, I'm trying to see how many attacks. So there's one proc. So if we got another proc there, it'd be two rage. Um, 
I feel like he can be, but be careful with that. So you see, like when Kaysen has his ultimate up, his ultimate does so much damage. And this is this is where it was a great find by Machine to test Kaysen here. Um, but the benefit that Kaysen has over Bocce is Kaysen can be built slow. <laughs> he can be built slow and just stack attack. He doesn't need to hit the speed threshold because whenever the boss does his counterattack on Kaysen, he does one damage. And, uh, and, and yeah, and then he counterattacks. So it's it, it was a really nice find. I was... I was very, uh, very happy with uh, that video from, from Machine. So actually, we had Resonance set proc twice there, and it looked like we were just about to hit the extra turn rage from the boss. So now, to, now that I think about it, I don't think, uh, I don't think Poros can be on Resonance set. So just keep that in mind. So anyway. Uh, we're getting close here. I don't know how many turns that's been, but we're probably three or four turns away from him going berserk, but we've seemed to have been getting at least enough consistent uh, resonance procs where uh, we're going to have enough to kill him, I believe. So this is going to be like three for three. Uh, I'll definitely do like a ten run and stuff after this, after the video, just to just to make sure. But this is, I think, this is where I got last time. He still doesn't have berserk, so yeah, we. I'm guessing we have one or two more turns. So after this, we're going to uh, show you the gear. Yeah, so there you go. Um, consistent. And all of those teams scale from 12 all the way up to ROC3. So there you have it. Guild battle, guild battle. That's pretty good. Basic ability. Wow, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good piece for Flaming Myla in, uh, in guild versus environment. Nice. Okay. Anyway, all right. Let's go show the gear. Okay, so, um, gear on our fire team first. Okay, or earth team, sorry. Zitlin, basic Zitlin, I think I've shown him multiple times. He's just in speed set. Uh, this is because I use him in like Witch of the Wind and things like that. So he's got 23,000 health, uh, 192 focus. You do need high focus on Rift of Chaos 3. Uh, one through three, it's the same thing. As long as you're hitting that like 160 threshold, you're going to be okay. So that's Zitlin. Uh, Flarence, I do have her on Salvation set. You don't need it. Uh, I promise you don't. You just saw how much we were melting the boss there. And Flaming Myla doesn't care about uh, the max health. She is more than healthy. Um, so you do not need Salvation. You just need the speed and the focus requirements um, her health doesn't even need to be that high you just need enough speed and focus to land her debuff so that's Florence uh, next up we have flaming Myla oh sorry Gavin so Gavin a traditional uh, damage build uh, he does have the speed requirement there he does need to be above 225 so he's got 6500 attack and 400 uh, crit damage uh, again, if you don't want to use Gavin or have a book Gavin, but you have Light Ophelia, just put Light Ophelia in his place, and Flaming Myla is just going to melt the boss with her double ultimate from Light Ophelia. Uh, if you don't have Light Ophelia, maybe you can run someone like Radiant Pixie uh, for the S2 to bring in Flaming Myla for additional attacks. That might also work. Uh, you can also bring in probably uh, Brand... 
uh, Jocasta, you know, all of those heroes work. You just need a way to uh, be able to cleanse the bomb if you can't kill the boss fast enough. Uh, sorry, so he's an assassin and speed set. Flaming Myla, like I said, she is fully booked. Uh, actually, 13 of 15, missing that ultimate I showed her not too long ago. She is in Warrior and Assassin now. Um, I think she was in Speed and Warrior before, but I just wanted to stack a little more crit damage and attack. Uh, so that's that. And then she's got crit damage relic, crit damage relic. And I think Gavin had crit damage as well. Crit damage and crit damage, yeah. Okay, so that's Gavin. Uh, and then last up is Mauricio. I actually didn't even ascend him. <laughs> he doesn't even need it. He's just all on speed, 245 speed. He just needs to be over 225. That's it. Um, his resistance does not matter. His focus does not matter because it can't be resisted on bosses. And he has the highest health. You just need to make sure he has the highest health because he can't be stunned. So um, immune to negative effects. Pretty awesome whenever it comes to wood. So that is the earth boss. So when it comes to the water boss, the first person I'm going to show is Santis, uh, even though she dies. So none of this stuff is actually even necessary. Uh, it's, I guess it's actually, yeah, it really isn't necessary at all. I guess you just need her fast enough and enough focus to land her first debuff. Um, but if, uh, if you want your runs to not be if you want your requirements of stats on your other heroes not to be as drastic uh, and you can keep the Santas alive uh, I, I guess that's important but what I just showed you is she just needs to be fast enough as <laughs> land her poisons because uh, you need her for one round and then she revives herself so 228 speed 211 focus um, and then she is on revival but again not necessary uh, at least from what I found. Uh, next up, we have Foodie. So Foodie is A1, which is probably why she's surviving for me. Um, so she does have 169 focus. She's got 236 speed and 32,000 health, almost 33,000 health. Um, she is A1. So that is Foodie. Uh, next up, we have Aaron. So... Uh, in this Aaron comp, I guess that is definitely the downside to an Aaron comp is uh, you need a limited hero. Uh, and you definitely can substitute Maeve. Hmm. Yeah, what would the replacement be for him? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I know there's teams out there that don't uh, use Aaron. I think they're just a little bit tougher to build. I'm sorry that I couldn't show them to you today, uh, but hopefully in the future. So his health is about 27. He's got 218 resistance. This is important because you don't want him to get frozen because you want uh, Foodie to end up cleansing the frozen seal and the freeze on Ackerley. So yeah, he's in revival. That's kind of important on him because you need him to survive. Um, so revival, 27,000 health, 218 resistance, 233 speed. That's probably your toughest hero to build in all honesty. Um, next up, we have Gangello and Ackerley. So Ackerley, probably pretty easy to build. Uh, all speed, she's got, or he's got about 33,000 health, a little bit more than Foodie. You want him to be taking the max health damage uh, just because he takes reduced damage. He's got 183% focus. He doesn't need resistance because Foodie cleanses him, and he is back of the turn order to give immune to people. So uh, that is important. Okay, uh, and then last but not least is Gangello. Gangello. We use Gangello. Uh, he is in uh, speed. He actually doesn't even have revival on. Uh, he's got 23,000 health, 232 speed, and 172% focus. So that is Gangello. Now for the fire team. This one is probably your hardest team to build because you, it requires resonance set. So for Atara, uh, she's got resonance and speed set. Um, 5,700 defense, which is pretty low. I think 
I used to have her like 6200, but as you saw, uh, Kaysen ends up killing the boss quick enough. Uh, so I guess it didn't come into play. So she's got 156% focus, um, and she has 230 speed. She does need to go behind uh, Poros and uh, and Badmar to extend the debuffs, uh, the defense down and the increased damage taken. So the focus is 156, uh, but I do have a relic that gives her ultimate ability focus uh, 70 more percent because she does need to land the attack down too to let your Badmar survive. Uh, Badmar did come close to dying. Um, so yeah, she has the resonance set. It is required or you're not going to do enough damage. Badmar, um, he's at th about 39,000 health. That's all he needs. And then speed, he is, I think, second fastest. Poros is a little bit faster than him, but he doesn't need focus or resistance. He just needs enough health to survive. Um, and then he has the resonance set because you need to proc those case and attacks. Uh, next up, we have Poros. Um, so Poros, Poros is just in speed set, baseline relics. He has 143% focus, um, and then 239 speed. He can be, you know, slower than Badmar if you need, but he does need to be faster than Atara. And he is not on resonance set. I don't think he can be on resonance set or is going to proc too many attacks. I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. If you have enough resonance set, you know, try it out and let me know. Um, I just don't know. Uh, and then we have Kaysen. So Kaysen, uh, does, Kaysen does need to be the slowest in the team, okay? Um, he needs to be slower than Savannah because if not, when Savannah takes her turn, uh, she, it, if she goes first, she's actually going to take one damage because Kaysen will mitigate the damage from the counterattack from the boss and then he'll almost die uh, whenever he goes. So you don't want that. You want Savannah to die uh, immediately. So you, you need Kaysen um, to be second, second slowest. I don't know if I said slowest. Second slowest. You want Savannah to be the slowest. Okay, so um, he has 7,700 attack. <laughs> He's, he has too much crit, actually, so this isn't even like a uh, optimized build. He's got about 400% crit damage, and he can be as slow as get out because he, he wants to proc... Um, he wants to proc this uh, counterattack. So whenever the fire boss launches a counterattack, then Kaysen goes in and does his special ability and then does 130% damage, but 100% more damage to bosses. So he's doing 230% damage. Uh, but yeah, so that's Kaysen. He's just in elemental set, um, an assassin. I think if you have elemental set, just like full elemental stats uh, sets, it's going to be better than Assassin. Uh, Wrath here it would be amazing, but I mean, I just I don't have any of those sets, and I don't care to farm them. Farm them. So, uh, yeah, this is what I got. So he's an Assassin and uh, LML. So that's Kaysen. He is fully booked, and he's Ascended Five. Oh, actually, he's missing <laughs> one book, so you don't even need to full book him. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy I found a place for this bum. Uh, and then last but not least is Savannah. Like I said, Savannah does need to be the slowest in the team, uh, but she is just stacked on max attack. So 8,300 attack. Uh, she's got no books in her, slowest in the team. That's all that matters. So anyway, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it is helpful to some of y'all that have Kaysen and hate him and want to find a place to use him. Uh, I found one. So, well, actually, Machine found one, and I copied him. And now I also found him. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. See ya.